Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeroen. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial, hopefully it will be quick, about the Twitter app for Macs. So to download it, it's really simple. You simply have to go in the Mac App Store, type Twitter in the search bar, and it will be the first one on top left. So here you are. It is the official app that uh, the Twitter company actually created for Macs, and it's really fabulous. It's really simple, and it's really optimized for the user. So basically you gotta click install, it's going to appear on your dock. I'm just gonna close this and go on the uh, Twitter app. So right before just talking about all the features that are included in this app, I just wanna tell you guys some settings, some preferences to actually optimize and maximize your whole Twitter experience. So first off, here you can decide your image service. I will talk about it very soon. But you can decide where your images are are, are uploaded to so that you can share them with your followers. Another uh, preference that I suggest you guys is scroll to top. I'll uh, explain it very soon. After that, in notifications, for every account you have, you can also add accounts. Now, for every account that you have, you can choose the type of notifications that you have. These are, I believe, the settings that really maximize uh, the whole Twitter experience. So first off, the tweets from people you follow. I just said to uh, the, the app that I just want the highlight menu bar icon. That means, as you just saw right right there, right here, that every time a new tweet appears, it just does this small light. It's very easy to see since it's a black, uh, white on black, obviously, and you can even see it from other accounts. For my mentions, though, and also my messages, I really want to know when other people tweet at me. Like, for example, when I'm in Google Chrome or in another application, I want to know quickly if someone... Um, tweeted at me. So basically what this does is that every time um, you have a new tweet or a new direct message directed to you, you uh, you will see like a red notification appear on the top right of the Twitter logo. So it's, it's like a red star, a bit like this, but it's a star and it's really noticeable. So those were the settings that uh, I think optimize and maximize your whole Twitter experience. So now we're going to go over the many features that this app offers. So first off, first off, as you saw, you have you can have multiple accounts. Here I have two accounts: my um, my code account and my personal account. I will do most of the tutorial on this since it's e really easier to show. So I'm going to show every feature. So basically, let's start with the tabs. First off, you have of course all the tweets of your of the people you follow. And I don't know if you remember, guys, but in your preferences, when I told you guys to uh, scroll to top, that means that every time a new tweet appears, it actually goes to the top. I just find it really easier and simpler to navigate when it's like that, and you're more up to date. As you just saw, it just went up. After that, here are all your mentions. Of course, you can go far back. Of course, it will have to load every, I don't know, like 20 tweets, so you can easily go back. After that, you have, of course, your direct messages. Here are your lists, if you want to create lists of followers. Here's your profile. So here you have your all what you wrote, all of the what the people wrote to you, your favorites, and, of course, your profile. Uh, you can put the location, bio, web, following, followers, tweets, and favorites. You can also very simply edit your profile uh, but it will take some time to update on the website. And finally, the last tab is if you want to search someone or a subject and you have all the recent trends. I have, I think that these trends are worldwide. You know, like on Twitter.com, you can select wh what thread you have, well, what threads uh, you want, like if you want your specific city, your specific state, or etc. But I think these are worldwide. So after that, let's talk about uh, the really Twitter part, the tweets. So here, if you double-click on one of the tweets, you can see the conversation that the people are having, or even your conversations, for example, here. Uh, after that, here is if you want to reply. It's really easy to reply. Here is if you want to retweet, you can quote retweet like this and answer whatever you want, or simply retweet exactly the tweet that the person has. However, some people it will not work because they have their privacy uh, they have their price versus like lock like that guy so it doesn't always work which is normal and also happens on twitter.com so here are a few commands that you can use to simplify your twitter experience first off command n is a new tweet 
This is really quick if, if you don't want to use your, mou your mouse because sometimes we're just lazy of using our mouse. And after you just want to write whatever you want. If you want to include a picture, for example, if I want to include a picture of that car, I'm just going to screen cap it. There, we're done. And uh, I'm just going to include the, the picture. Also, if you want to tweet it, you simply have to press Command Enter and it will tweet it automatically. I actually just learned this feature yesterday, so it's a great feature also, which makes you tweet faster. It's all about little things like that. that, that all those little things really make me like this app. After that, um, I think that there are two things that are missing in the whole, uh, in the whole uh, Twitter app. First off, I think that your followers, you, sh you should be able to like see them quickly instead of opening an uh, internet page, which is uh, right here. And um, the other thing is that you cannot see who retweeted you. You know, like on the Twitter site, you can't see who tweeted you. Well, retweeted you, my bad. Well, on this, you cannot see who retweeted you. You really have to go on the website, and that's the only way you got to see it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that um, you now understand better the Twitter app. If you have any questions, let me know below. It will be my pleasure to answer them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.